What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Hall's Capital video. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk to you guys about using PancakeSwap um, to go ahead and probably purchase a lot of tokens that you're trying to find on the Ethereum network um, that are on the Binance network or may be on the Binance network. Uh, and you can get them a lot cheaper using PancakeSwap over Uniswap uh, and connecting a Binance BNB compatible wallet. Uh, we've already showed you how to upgrade your wallets, um, your MetaMask, and add the Binance network into it. So that way you can connect MetaMask to PancakeSwap. We've shown you how to download the Binance extension wallet. So that way you can have that uh, if you just want to have a dedicated Binance wallet um, that allows you to swap and switch in between different networks as well. Um, and then again, you can always connect to PancakeSwap uh you know via your trust wallet uh if you go into the app through the dex um and connect that way through wallet connect so let's go ahead and jump into pancake swap just want to give you a quick rundown on a couple of things you can do on it guys um nothing too crazy it's a basic uh you know swap decentralized swap that exists out there um looks just like uni swap um, offers you the opportunity for swaps, uh, liquidity pools, farming. Um, and recently, in the last couple of months, they've introduced NFTs to the platform um, and they offer you the opportunity for a little NFT marketplace. So let's go ahead and let us jump into PancakeSwap. So why PancakeSwap? Because Ether gas fees are ridiculous. That's why, like, duh, what else the reason do you need? Um, so me personally, I've used PancakeSwap to buy a lot of different tokens um, that I just didn't want to pay the Ether gas price for. Uh, many tokens that do trade on Ethereum network um, as well are already been bridged to Binance and trade on the Binance network. Uh, and I've already showed you how to do bridges in previous videos using Binance.org um, and other sites as well. So. All you have to do is when you go to pancakeswap.finance, um, guys, uh, you have to have some BNB because it operates through BNB or uh, BNB or USDT on the BNB network. Um, any tokens that you do on this will need to be on the BNB network. All right. And all you got to do is connect your wallet. Uh, again, as you can see, you can connect your Binance Smart Chain. We showed you how to download this, the MetaMask. We showed you how to upgrade it so that BNB can be accepted on there. Wallet Connect if you want to use your trust wallet. And it's got a few other options on there as well. Coin98, we've already gone over that wallet for you as well, as well as provided the trade idea. SafePal, same thing. Token Pocket, same thing. Math Wallet, same thing. All these wallets have been provided for you already in the group, guys. So you should have more than enough access to getting to PancakeSwap. So once you're in PancakeSwap, all you need to do is search for the coin you are looking for. All right. Uh, one thing I will say is, what if you don't find the coin you're looking for? What if I want to buy a coin, but I don't know if it's on BNB or I don't see it. I went through the entire list. It's not there. That means I probably got to go to Uniswap and purchase uh, the expensive coin using the expensive gas fee. So if I wanted to spend $100 on Ethereum, I'm probably gonna get charged $50 in gas. No, we don't want you to do that. I'm gonna show you how to find the coins on PancakeSwap uh, or see if they're compatible in the Binance wallet. So let's use for an example, we'll just use Avalanche because I'm pretty sure they're on all the networks now. So you can come to CoinMarketCap. Uh, no, we won't use Avalanche. Let us use, what is a token that I know just went over there? Uh, here we go, Phantom. We'll use the Phantom Network because I know Phantom is on all the networks. So let's say you had Phantom Network and you didn't want to buy it on the Ethereum network. Uh, you know, you can search for by either going to the Binance Explorer and getting the address or what I like to do is sometimes just come to CoinMarketCap you can click on this drop down box and it will give you the Binance address for Phantom. All right. So you can copy that or you can just touch your MetaMask. It will add Phantom to your MetaMask. I already have Phantom in my MetaMask on Binance chain, so I don't need to add it again. But once I've copied that, I can come back over here. I can go to manage tokens. And if I decide to paste in, oh, wait, here we go, token, I can paste in that address. And there it is, Phantom. It has found the Phantom token for me. So if I wanted to buy Phantom and I didn't want to buy it on the Ethereum network, I can get the Phantom address to make sure it trades on the BNB network. Because that's one thing, guys, please make sure it trades. Not all tokens do trade on the network. But for the most part, majority of the big ones um, do trade on the network. Uh, you can simply do the import. You'll always get this warning to let you know that anyone can create a contract address. 
One way to double check the contract addresses if you're unsure is you can always go to the Binance Explorer. So let's just do that real quick um, just for the, uh, here we go. in the explorer all right so let's say i wanted to find my phantom uh address i can type in phantom and here it is you see it's going to give me the phantom token that trades on the on the bnb network it's got a check next to me so it makes me know that it's the certified official one i can just copy that i could take that back here again if i wanted to um, and I could just paste it in there and there you go. My token, it's already on the list. So that lets me know the token exists. So that is how I can buy Ethereum tokens using PancakeSwap and BNB uh, and avoid the crazy uh, gas fees on Ethereum, all right? So let's say you're done buying your tokens um, now that you've bought your tokens and you wanna go ahead and earn. Couple options you've got. You have the liquidity pools and farming. So you can farm tokens here on PancakeSwap. Again, we've covered farming in a previous video. Um, it requires both pairs. You can also come and you can stake your PancakeSwap. So maybe you own a little bit of cake, right? If you earn some cake, you can actually stake it and you can earn these different coins. Um, you know, some of these coins are have been out for a while. Uh, and some of them are newer ones, uh, but it's an early opportunity to just get in on um, a little bit of uh, free money. And then you've got the NFT, you've got the NFTs uh, marketplace in which was just recently introduced to Pancake Swap, guys. Uh, again, you know, always do your due diligence. Be cautious when you're buying NFTs. Uh, there are a lot of things you need to look into. Uh, we've covered a few of those, um, but just make sure you don't get left holding a bag. Um, and you know with just a, a jpeg image uh but we have shown you um a few different nfts to purchase as well as a couple ways to look for nfts on what you want to look for as far as buying uh but i really just wanted to show you pancake swap and more important than the nfts i wanted to show you how to access uh different tokens on the binance network or avoid paying ether gas prices and ether gas fees uh and just use pancake swap to your advantage uh, you guys can always buy the tokens here on Binance, and then uh, you can always send it back to its original network using the bridge if you want to at a later date and time when gas fees are more favorable. Anyways, I hope that video was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.